delegates on different technicalities and jargon that are involved in MUN, and the different protocols. Um, I've really enjoyed bonding with some of the mentees and I hope that this is an organization that will continue well into the future. So I really like my committee. Um, I'm chairing the Historical Special Political Committee um, and it's deciding the 19... It's from a retrospective viewpoint. So we're looking at um, if we were the members of the UN in 1984, how would we decide Hong Kong's political future? Like, would we want it to continue to be a British colony? Or is that unfeasible or unviable? Or would we want it to be decolonized and become an independent state? Or do we want like a sort of middle route where um, it becomes part of China in this sort of um, one country, two systems, but from a 1984 perspective? So I think overall, um, the delegates have really responded well to the prompts. Like they've actually done quite a lot of research. I hear them bringing in a lot of um, examples from the World War. And because Japan was one of the submitters of a resolution, they've been talking about the American occupation of Japan in the 1950s and how that might affect Hong Kong in the future. And it's been pretty interesting so far. So um, overall for Ignis and UN, like I really just like the way that um, it's meant to be a sort of community service through MUN because often when we do MUN it's a very detached sort of intellectual activity and we tend to talk about issues as teenagers and about things that we don't understand but I think Ignis MUN it's a really great way to empower um, Hong Kong youth like with speech and debate and opinion and I think that's going to become increasingly important you know because of Hong Kong's changing environment and you see youth these days they're getting more and more engaged in Hong Kong's socio-political future. So it's interesting to look at it from a historical point of view, from a 1984 point of view. Like, what would you have done if you were um, the United Nations at the time? And uh, to what extent is democracy and liberty 
an important part of our political system nowadays. Okay, um, for me personally, I think Ignis is one of the best MEO conferences out there, and I'm super happy to be part of it and extremely proud of it because I think what makes it different and what separates it from other MEO conferences is the fact that we're in this environment where we're really encouraging people to be spontaneous, to just speak, and to really just encourage them to be uh, to actually uh, be confident about what they're saying, to learn about different issues, which is something you don't really find in different uh, conferences such as H Cameo and things like that. And furthermore, we have the mentor mentee element of it, which really further encourages um, students to learn and really uh, encourages other people that are new to MUN as opposed to experienced MUNs, which makes me really, really proud to be part of something so innovative with you. Yeah, I mean, um, I, can, I can very much relate to that because the first time I attended an MUN conference, I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea about the protocol. So I think IGNS does a great job at kind of explaining people what the MUN conference is all about, what international relations is all about, and like, like we've already mentioned, it's great for promoting people, you know, kind of pushing people to speak out. And not only have we enabled people to, you know, learn, not only have we shared with them what we know, but we've also learned things from the mentees. So things about their lives, different new skills, new things about them. So it's been a it's been an interesting journey. Yeah, it's been an amazing journey. And just hearing the feedback from different mentees, they all tell us that they learn procedure quite quickly and everything, rather than some of the more professional conferences in which without prior experience, without prior conferences like Ignis, I would have gone and completely lost and not aware of how to, what protocol to follow and what different motions were. Yeah, definitely. I find that the, the mentors are actually helping much and um, my partner has also done much for me so that when I come I can already integrate and we had a very joyful time discussing about resolutions but I see that this uh, in this MUN has some differences with the previous MUN that joined for example um, this MUN I mean this time we can have more than one um, DR to be passed but uh, for other MUNs usually when we vote when we pass the first draft resolution, the others cannot be further discussed. And I actually prefer to discuss all uh, draft resolutions because this can um, allow us to have more discussion about different ideas and it's not that. Because uh, actually in the past, I will be concerning that if I vote a yes for that resolution and I do not have the chance to uh, listen to the others, so I prefer this style. This is something that can improve my English a lot. That is like I don't have enough confidence in speaking and organizing um, some um, like the dialogue. So in MUN, I know I learned how to organize my speech, uh, giving opening speech, um, like moderated a caucus. Mm, it's greatly enhanced my um, confidence in speaking. So all this Ignis MUN really provides me a great chance of um, doing the negotiation um, while debating because um, I'm in school debating, uh, debating team and public speaking team. However, I didn't really try any negotiation uh, before making concession. And during the MUN, conf uh, MUN conference, uh, Ignis MUN conference, uh, it's really amazing that how cooperation is made um, between different blocks, how you you, you, you need to compromise, you need to um, make amendments, not, not only unfriendly one, but also a friendly one, in order to make this proposal, uh, go, uh, to pass it. So um, it's, it's really amazing, this uh, Agnes this MUN. Yes, and in this Agnes MUN, I find out that it's not really like a debate. Because when we are in a school debating team, we are scared about what we say. But in here, the atmosphere is really good, and we are not under pressure. You are, although our opinions are different, but we are actually not enemy. We just negotiate and have a better solution to the issue. Yeah. I think the 
tremendous, very friendly, and they are helpful enough to help us with the skills, and they provide the skills to speak in front of others, and also the flow of the end end procedure. Yeah, I think that's great to like letting us all know about what's going on about the MUN within two uh, section of workshop and we also have a chance like a real practice on the final day and like, in a conform condition which is really exciting and yeah, I can apply what we learn. Hi, I am Diana and I'm the Director General as well as one of the founders of Ingus MUN. As a Director General, I am um, responsible for allocating duties, delegating tasks to um, different members in, within Ignis, and as well as admi administrative or publicity work. So, in the past eight months, um, we've, we've been spending a lot of time and effort to pull this mentorship scheme off and I really have to thank my whole team for being there, um, being so supportive even in um, times when we are facing crisis um, such as possibly losing venues and, and that sort of thing. So I really want to thank my staff again, Secretariat, you're an amazing bunch of people. It's been a pleasure to work with you all. Mentors, you are wonderful and thank you for your dedication and commitment in terms of um, communicating with your mentees, um, interacting with them, teaching them, guiding them throughout the whole conference. I would also like to thank my school, Chinese International School, for being so supportive of my initiative. They have provided the venue as well as the funding from the annual fund for our conference. I would also like to thank the teacher supervisors who have been so sacrificing, um, who, has, who has sacrificed their time to come to supervise the premises so that we can use our venues. Last but not least, I would like to thank the supporters and friends of Agnes, um, such as Miss Audrey Yu, who came today to speak to our mentees and answer the questions regarding politics and democracy, and as um, especially People like Athelia Long, Wilson Lai, Stephanie Lun, um, Letty, um, and other friends who helped me, volunteered to take videos, do graphic designing, and all sorts of tasks just to make this conference work. Thank you so much for supporting Ignis, and I look forward to seeing everyone in the next Ignis conference. Thank you. Hello, I am Ryan. I am the president of the General Assembly here at Ignis, and one of the three founders as well. At ICNIS, obviously, what we hope to do is bring multi United Nations to students from backgrounds who might not have access to this valuable learning opportunity. And this rationale explains um, many of the topics that we have chosen for them in our three committees. One of the things that Hong Kong students sometimes lack is knowledge about wider global and international affairs. And we found that it was interesting and also educational for them to learn about these issues through the context of multi United Nations by doing research on their own while being guided by mentors who have experience of debating such issues at a high level and who have learned and read about such issues themselves. So that's the reason why we chose the topics we decided to use for this conference. Ignis wants to be not just about speaking skills, it's not just about learning and your protocols, it's about making you a more global citizen, a more well-rounded citizen. And Hong Kong's role as an international financial center within the Asia-Pacific region means it's important for students from all backgrounds to be aware of the context of the 21st century that we all live in. Thank you. I'm Jason, and I'm the Secretary General of Ignis, and I'm also one of the co-founders. Eight months ago, when I first conceived the idea with my colleagues Diana and Ryan, we found that we actually stumbled across quite an amazing idea. We knew that MUN has always been an activity which bonds Hong Kong students together, um, an activity which strengthens our understanding of international affairs, um, that fosters our debating and negotiation skills, but at the same time really offers us um, a lot of fun. So what we really wanted to do is to share this MUN experience with those 
um, students who go to schools who don't already have an embryonic club and who are not exposed to this activity. And the reason we want to do this is because we found that MUN has rather been very exclusive in the Hong Kong community. Only those schools with previous experience and with the money and the power uh, and the connections and the energy to do this have been successfully able to pull off an MUN club. Ingus MUN seeks to change this. Ingus wants to make MUN part of every student's lives, so that every student has the opportunity to access this amazing activity, which is not also fun, but really builds them and develops them as students and as learners. And this is why we're here today, and we hope that everybody has enjoyed our past conference and will keep coming to Ignis in the future. Thank you.